Welcome to Zeus Physiques. Today, I'll be looking at a comparison that many wanted, but never got to see. Peter Molnar versus Chris Bumstead at the 2021 Classic Physique Olympia. This is a very detailed body part by body part comparison with a score of one to 10, 10 being the highest. Of course, these scores are subjective by their nature. Both Molnar and Bumstead are elite physiques and scores are relative to other pro bodybuilders. If you did enjoy this comparison though, please consider subscribing, hitting the like, and leaving a comment. I always enjoy reading your feedback. With that being said, let them both take the stage. Both Molnar and Bumstead's chests are, despite differing sizes, shapely and well balanced. The lats are where Bumstead really pulls ahead. He has width and thickness on Molnar and dominates in this pose. Molnar's torso is longer here and it gives him a more pleasing look, but Bumstead has his trademark vacuum which evens the scoring out here. Bumstead pulls further ahead here in the quad department with a size and separation advantage over Molnar. The calves on both are sufficiently developed. There's nothing special going on for both of them here though. Bumstead's biceps have been a notorious sticking point for him, whereas they're a strong point for Molnar despite them being somewhat downsized here due to classic physique's weight restrictions. It has to be said that Bumstead's worked hard on his triceps and they're gradually turning into a strong point for him. Again, I'd say they're evenly matched. Forearms on both are again evenly matched. Bumstead's right is completely covered by a tattoo which tells you, as with calves, their relative lack of importance in the judging criteria. Okay, let's move on to the side. The separation in both Molnar's and Bumstead's chest is evident. However, from the side, Bumstead's appears fuller and more developed. Bumstead's shoulders are a standout body part from any angle, and the side is no exception. They appear rounder and more developed than Molnar's. Arms are Molnar's strong point, and his bicep dominance in this side shot is evident. Bumstead's leg dominance is clear from this side shot. In particular is the superior hamstring development and overall separation. Calves, Chris Bumstead wins with this shot with greater mass and separation. Let's move on to the back. Bumstead's weak bicep peaks really affects this pose from behind, whereas Molnar's peaks are clearly visible from this position. Bumstead's and Molnar's forearms score evenly here, even though Chris has his right effectively hidden by that large tattoo. Bumstead's outstanding shoulders score a perfect 10 for size, separation and symmetry. Molnar's no slouch in this department either. Both contestants have good trap size and separation. Not much between them here either. Chris's upper back superiority though is again evident here with more width, size and detail. The lower backs of both contestants are well developed but lacking definition. Chris's lower lat insertions do benefit him in this pose though. Chris's glutes are sharper here with more striations. That gives him a higher score in the glute department. I feel that they're evenly matched here in the upper legs. The hamstring separation is clear in both competitors in this pose. Again, the calves are not a strong point for either competitor, reflecting their lack of importance in overall judging. How do the scores tally up? From the front, Molnar has 55, Bumstead 57. From the back, Molnar 69, Bumstead 71. Side, Molnar 40, Bumstead 42. Total, Molnar 164, Bumstead 170. 
Olmsted was stronger in all areas than Molnar with his back, shoulders and legs scoring consistently higher. Peter Molnar is one of the greatest physiques of our times. Unfortunately, he was up against one of the greatest physiques of all time.